All right, so there's the one of the propeller blades cut out. It's very simple. They don't tell you to put anything inside, for instance. A lot of times you put in a piece of wood or a wire. I like to put in a piece of wood, maybe, because the wire just looks like a, a line down the middle. But I'm doing it just like the kit suggests, so I'm not putting anything inside. So I finish off where the fold is going to go. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a straight line, but I'm embossing that so that I can bend it over and fold it. Um, and you want these blades not to be flat. You want them to have a little, a little three dimension to them. So I take the back of a paintbrush and I squash them along the blades. And what that's doing is curling the blades a little bit so they'll be cupped. And it's not super pronounced, but it is better than just having them be flat. And I bet you that's what you're supposed to do. I don't think I'm telling anybody anything new. Again, if there was a, a Polish modeler or a Czech modeler out there, they'd be like, you doorknob, of course that's what you do. In fact, you do it this way to make it look even better. But I'm sort of groping as I go here. But then when you fold this over, you just make sure it kind of matches up. Now in this case, it doesn't match up perfectly, and these are going to be painted, so it doesn't really matter. But you get as close as you can, and um, you know after you're done, these can be sanded up a little bit too. Uh, but you make sure that everything comes together down at the base, has to come together, and a real prop blade is kind of thick at the base. Um, and uh, that piece I'm trying to point out is going to be a hub that's going to roll around once we get there. Now I'm trying to sort of turn the edges up a little bit to try to give it a little more of a rounded, sort of convex shape. But if I put some glue around those edges, that won't look too bad. I can see here that I'm, you know, under understeering. So I just put a little bit of Sharpie on the edge. And again, uh, if you're better than me than I am, you wouldn't have to do that, I'm sure. But that's what I'm having, needing to do. Um, again, I don't think it's it's not the kit at all. It's not the kit part. But now I take the little tweezers and I kind of twist a little extra around the edges all the way around the perimeter on both blades sides. Again, just to give myself a little exaggerated piece. And then so when I put glue on like there and I sandwiched it over, it should look pretty good. Um, I guess if I was doing this, I would take a myself, take balsa and cut it into an airfoil and sand it and or you cut it, make an airfoil and put it inside just like you do with um, what you can do with struts and things. And then uh, you get a much better looking propeller. But this is also going to be twisted when I'm done a little bit. But anyway, you just keep making sure the edges are glued. And then you get down to the end, and there you can see there's white. Uh, and again, I'm painting this later, so this is not an important thing, but it's still something to show you that you can do this. And again, I think if you're good, you wouldn't even have to. Uh, but the edge would have to be done. Now one side is light gray, you can't really tell. One side is bright white, that side is bright white, and that piece gets spun around. So I use this little tool from my wife. I can't remember what it's, what it's called. Um, I had it in my head and I lost it. But you slip paper into that very fine slot that you see in the tip of that metal. And you can curl the paper around, and it's really nice. Um, my wife and my daughter are into it, and I can't remember what it's called. But anyway, roll that around, put some glue on it, roll it on that strip, and then pull that out and hold it together. Um, it only works for small things, but um, for, it's perfect for this, for example. It happens to work really well. Now you've got the beginning of a hub that's going to plug into the spinner, to the hole um, in the spinner, in the front or the back. All the blades are the same. There's going to be a different um, pitch angle if it's a pusher or the tractor prop. And that one problem is um, you put it in the hole, you can see it's way too small. Um, too small to make it easy to easy to put in. Anyway, it falls right out. So maybe I needed to leave them be a little bit looser. That, that could be. But what I did was I took tape, just masking tape, and cut it into a fine strip and just rolled it around the end, thus making that a little bit thicker. And uh, this will be these will be painted and touched up silver or some kind of color, silvery grayish color when I'm all done, when I'm painting for real. But that gives me a little extra. And now when I put that in there, it fits just like nice. 
Good. So now I'm um, use a little super glue in this case to put these in, and I'll put some super glue around all these blades uh, and some accelerator just to strengthen them a bit, a little bit later. But the tricky part is you got to put this in, and then you got to turn it so that it's at the right angle at the base, about a 45 degree angle or a little less, I suppose. Uh, I'm used to flying models when I build them, <laughs> um, and you put them pretty. But you just got to make sure it all looks good. You got to make sure the angles are all you can see going the right way. Now the tips of the props, I will bend a little bit once this is dry. I'll twist them, and they'll look more like a propeller, more like a helix. But there's the front end and the front prop going on there, and you know it. It shoot looks like a looks like a propeller. And again, the edges are ragged, but those are going to be fixed up, dressed a little bit with some primer and some uh, and some uh, paint and then there's the rear which was done before and you can see that that one the pitch is going uh, on each blade is going um, uh, that way <laughs> that angle because the prop blade turns the engine's going to turn the same direction it would ordinarily so it's going to turn in a uh, it'll look it's going to turn the same way as the front and the front one though um, is, is, is has a slightly different pitch. The angle is that way. And that's because it's a tractor. So it's going to grab the air as it spins, as the prop spins that way and pull it back. But you can see, I mean, this is, of course, not a perfect shot, but there it is with blades on. And uh, every little bit looks better and better.